Hello students, welcome to 10 Learns. Today we will do question answers and book exercise of chapter 17, class 6, garbage in, garbage out. So we will start with fill in the blanks. First, one should prefer dash bags over dash bags. That is paper bags over plastic bags. Second, we should use dash pens in order to reduce wastage. Answer is fountain pens. Third, blue bins are used for recyclable waste. Fourth, biodegradable wastes are converted into dash by burying them in compost pit. Converted into compost. Now, choose the correct options. First, waste that rot by action of decomposers are called biodegradable waste. Non-biodegradable waste, household waste or recyclable waste the correct answer is a biodegradable waste second which of the following should be put in green bin a old batteries b glass bottles c fruit and vegetable peels d chocolate wrappers the answer is c fruit and vegetable peels third which of the following is a biodegradable waste a tissue paper b hair c tea leaves d all of them. Answer is D. All of them. Fourth, which of the following are used in vermicomposting? A. Black worm. B. Brown worm. C. Tape worm. D. Red worm. Answer is D. Red worm. Fifth, what makes the excessive usage of plastics a major concern? A. It is non biodegradable. B. It is environment friendly. C. It releases harmful gases on burning. D, both A and E. Answer is D, both A and E. Which of the following is an example of biodegradable waste? A, paper cup. B, plastic cup. C, glass bottle. D, copper tumbler. Answer is A, paper cup. Seventh, which of the following organisms cannot degrade biodegradable waste? A, virus. B, bacteria. C, red worm. D, fungi. Answer is A, virus. 8. Which of the following is not a part of 3 R's? A. Reduce. B. Reuse. C. Repeat. D. Recycle. The answer is C. Repeat. 9. Which of the following should be put in blue bin? A. Polythene bags. B. Old batteries. C. Chocolate wrappers. D. All of them. Answer is D. All of them. 10. What are large areas used for? For waste disposal cold. A. Garbage dump. B. Landfill. C. Green bin. D. Park. Answer is B. Landfill. Now we will do very short answer type question. Give one word for the following. First, wastes that do not rot or decompose by the action of decomposers is called non biodegradable waste. Second, recycling of organic waste by burying them in compost pits is called composting. Third, composting with the help of red worms is called vermicomposting. Fourth, large areas used for waste disposal landfills. Fifth, process by which waste material are used to make new products. Recycle. Now short answer type questions. Question 1. Differentiate between biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Answer. Waste that rot by the action of decomposers are called biodegradable waste. Example, paper, fruit and vegetable waste. Waste that do not rot by the action of decomposers are called non-biodegradable waste. Examples are plastic and glass waste. Question 2. What should be the colors of bins for biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste? Why should we have different bins for different types of waste? Answer is Green bins are for biodegradable waste such as vegetable and fruit fields, spoiled food, tea leaves. Blue bins are for recyclable waste such as glass bottles, plastic waste and old batteries. Two garbage bins should be used as this will help in easy sorting and recycling of waste to make beneficial products. Question 3. Describe the concept of 3 R's that can help reduce the amount of waste. Answer, non-biodegradable waste can be managed by part 
practicing the concept of 3 Rs reduce reuse and recycle we need to reduce the amount of waste generated by consuming more and throwing away less we can reuse certain things for more than one purpose the process by which waste material are used to make new products is called recycling question 4 why is it important to use paper carefully suggest four ways to save paper answer Paper is made from trees and trees are essential for our survival on the earth. So, even if the paper is biodegradable, depletion of trees at a fast pace is a big concern. Therefore, to save trees, we must use paper carefully. Some ways to save paper are as follows. First, we should always write on both sides of sheets. Second, Unused pages from old notebooks can be torn off and made into a new notebook for doing rough work and other miscellaneous work. Third, we can also reuse envelopes and covers using stickers to write new addresses. Fourth, we can also make fresh paper from old newspapers. Question 5. Suggest two tips each for reducing, reusing and recycling. So, tips for reusing is Small jars and bottles can be cleaned to keep some other kitchen stuff and old clothes can be made into other reusable items. Recycling is scrapyards have been recycling smaller to large products. Plastic should be recycled to make new things. Paper can also be recycled to make new products. So how can we reduce? We can use fountain pen in place of ball pen and use old newspapers for packaging. Answer. Recycling of organic waste such as vegetable peels, waste foods and leaves by burying them in compost pits is called composting. Composting is a simple and almost effortless process of recycling. The biodegradable waste are degraded by action of small organisms such as bacteria and fungi. Composting where a kind of earthworm called redworm acts on waste to degrade them. This type of composting with the help of a type of earthworm called redworm is called vermicomposting. Redworms break down the organic matter into nutrient-rich manure which increases soil fertility. Vermicomposting can be made in 3 to 4 weeks and it appears as loose soil like material. Question 2 What are landfills? Draw valuable diagram for landfill. Give one example of an landfill. Answer Large areas used for waste disposal are called landfills. Landfills is another method to manage huge amount of biodegradable as well as non biodegradable. In a landfill, garbage is buried in such a way that it does not damage the environment. Garbage buried inside landfills stay here for a long time and as it decomposes very slowly. After a landfill is full, it can be converted into park. For example, Intercrest Park in New Delhi is built on landfill site. So this is the diagram of a landfill. Question 3. Why is it important to reduce reuse plastic items? Suggest 4 ways to reduce reuse and recycle plastic. Answer. Use of plastic can become a major concern nowadays because they are non-biodegradable and release harmful gases upon heating and burning. They can also contaminate foodstuffs if eaten by animals, plastics can choke and kill them. Therefore, one should reduce and reuse plastic items as far as possible. When plastic items are to be discarded they should be recycled to make new things not all the plastics generated are recycled hence causing much damage to life on the earth some of the ways to reduce reuse and recycle plastics are as follows first paper cotton and jute bags should be preferred over plastic bags second disposable plastic containers and jars can be used to grow plants third empty bottles can be refilled to store for the storage of water and any other liquid stuff. Four, zip poles can be reused after cleaning thoroughly each time after storing food stuff. So this was all about the book exercise and question answer of this chapter. We will see you soon with a new chapter. Till then, goodbye, take care.